five. Okay, okay our lesson today. Today, uh, bring your book to page 52. The back, uh, The title is What's Cooking? Yeah, bring it beside you and open it, page 52. What's cooking? So the title of the the title of the lesson of today is what's cooking. This is the title of the lesson. First, I'm going to start with the vocabulary or the new vocabulary today. Um, a discuss. So uh, uh, I'm going to show two questions and we are going to answer about them. Uh, but before you before we answer the questions, look at this picture. Look at this picture. What can you see in the picture? Hey guys, what can you see in the picture? Chef. Yeah. Uh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Cooking. Uh, he's cooking. He is cooking. Okay. Do you like cooking? Yes. Uh, no. I don't. Okay. Look at the first question here. Who cooks at your house? Who cooks at your house? My mother. Your mom. Okay. Mm, okay. I want another answer. Who cooks at your uh, your house? My sister. My sister. Okay. I want another another one to answer this question. Who cooks at your house? Me. Mm, me. Okay. Thank you a lot. Do you like cooking? <coughs> hey guys. ايه <تصفيق> 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 Who cooks at your house? One of you said uh, my mother. Okay, the next question or the second question is do you cook? Do you cook at your house? Do you cook? Sultan, Sultan, do you cook at your house? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, I want Mishari. Uh, Mishari bin Jadid. Do you cook? Do you cook at your house? Yes. Yes. Why? Why do you cook? Uh, to help my family in the dinner. Yeah, to help the great, great, awesome. Okay, I want another one. Uh, Muhammad is safe. Safe. Yes, yes. Steve, do, uh, do you like cooking? Um, no. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do, do you cook at your house or not? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you don't. So, why not? Why don't you cook at your house? Because you don't like cooking, or because your mother always cooks, always cooks. Um, I don't like cooking. <laughs> you don't like cooking, but uh, uh, you know I like cooking too much, Muhammad. <laughs> I like cooking. I always uh, cook. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Okay. So uh, I want to. Assalam. Mustaf, I need to start a rabbit. The Zoom Marcel Tafi group in English. Naam. Start Hakur. رابط زوم مارسل ساح في جروب الانجليزي. يا سا حضرني يا سا. حاضر مين انت؟ اسمي القحطاني اول سابع. مازل الاحمري. يوسف القحطاني اول سابع. مازل الاحمري. ولا سابع. مازن؟ الاحمري. مازن انا محضرك. تركت. محضرك من بدري. طيب تركت عيس يسحب ولا سابع. تركت عيس حاضر. عبد الرحمن الزولي حضرته يا استاذ. طيب والسهلي عبد الرحمن السهلي طيب ولا كام عبد الرحمن السهلي ولا تاسع 
سابع طيب وترك التعصب لسابع تاسع تاسع طيب تاسع طيب خلاص ايه انا اول سابع خلاص يا حبايبي عددنا دلوقتي 25 لما بيروحوا اوكي بي لوك ات ذا بيكتشرز لوك ات ذا بيكتشرز اند ذا ورد از اند تراي تو جيس ذا مينينج اوف ذا فيربز ان بولد لما اكون بتكلم معلش ما حدش يتكلم عشان خاطر اسمعك طيب يا واحد مش هتدير اسمه في الشات طيب خلاص حبيبي خلاص سعد يحيى طيب اوكي سعد يحيى حاضر ما حدش يتكلم تاني يا شباب لغايه اما نخلص الدرس اوكي عشان ما اضطرش ان انا اعمل اعملكم كلكم صابط مش عايز كده يعني be here look at the pictures and the word is and try here uh, look at the pictures and the word is and try to guess the meaning of the verb is involved uh, هنظر الصور وهتحاول انك انت هتنظر uh, الصور وتنظر الكلمات اللي مكتوب عليها and try to guess the meaning of the verb is involved وتحاول انك انت تجيب معاني الافعال اللي موجوده بالبولد هنا بالخط العريض So the first picture here, uh, this is a wooden spoon, and this is a saucepan. So here, boil the rice and stir. What does the word or the verb boil mean? What does what does the <laughs> verb boil mean? What does this verb mean? <laughs> the verb rice. يحرك بويل بويل من كمان بويل what the meaning of boil قدر uh, another answer I want another answer طبق غلي no boil it means to heat the water to heat the water to put the water in a boat okay and put it in the stove stove and uh, to make uh, the water boil it means to um, it means to heat the, the the water okay this is the meaning of boil it, to make uh, to make the water uh, turn it into water baba عشان تخلي الميه تتحول لبخار مائي. So boil it means to heat something, to heat the water, to heat a liquid. Okay, this is the meaning of boil, to heat uh, the liquid. معناها انك انت تسخن الشيء، boil تخليه يغلي. This is the meaning of boil. When water boils, لما المياه boils تغلي, it turns into water baba. تتحول إلى water baba اللي هو بخار الماء. So this is the meaning of, of boil. Boil means uh, boil the rice and the stir. What's the meaning of the stir? Here. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. What's the meaning of the stir? Hazar, hazar, yes, sir. Guys, what's the meaning of the stir? Do you know the meaning of the stir? Ya Sal Walid. Khalas, I know you have to have ايه اسمع الدرس الاول يا نواف وما تجيش كده متاخر تاني يا نواف لو سمحت. اوكي؟ كتبت اسمك نواف الفلاني ولا سابع؟ سعد اليحيى يا شباب اولى كام؟ اولى تاسع اولى تاسع اولى تاسع اوكي سو ناو وات ذا مينينج اوف ستيل؟ وات داز ذا فيرب ستيل مين؟ قليل نو ستيل ات مينز تو موف سمثينج تو شيك سمثينج تو موف ات to move انك تحرك الشيء this is the meaning يعني يقلب الرز او يقلب so boil the rice and the stir it means اغلي الرز وايه وحاله so this is the first picture uh, picture number two here uh, this is a knife do you know what is this what is this onion onion a knife okay here a chopping board do you know what the meaning of chopping board do you have one in the اللي تقطع في اسم وات ذا مينينج اوف تشوب تشوب تشوبينج بورد تشوبينج بورد سكين نو تشوب لا لا تشوب اونست مشاري وات داز ذا وورد تشوبينج بورد مين سمثينج يو كات ذا فود اونست يا It's something which we use to uh, cut vegetables on it. 
okay? So this is a chopping board. Uh, so here, uh, the sentence is peel the onions. Peel the onions and chop them. What does peel, the yeah, what does peel the the here mean? What does it mean? Yeah, that's right. Peel the onions and chop them. What does the verb chop mean? What does the verb chop mean? Yeah, and we always use the verb chop with, uh, with the vegetables. Okay? We use it. Uh, we use the verb chop with the vegetables. This is picture number two. Let's move to uh, picture number three here. Um, melt the butter. What does the verb melt the whip the whip? Tadweeb, Mr. Tadweeb. Okay, so this that's right. Picture number four here. This is a whisk. Do you know the meaning of whisk? This this device is this tool. This tool is a whisk. Yes. No, this, this tool. Do you know this tool? This tool is a whisk. This tool is a knife. Okay, so this is whisk. Here, whisk the butter. What's the meaning of whisk the butter? Uh, yeah, that's right. It means to mix. Uh, also, we have another. Uh, we have another picture here. Mix milk with the cocoa. Uh, milk. Mist. 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 Yeah, mist. Salt this stuff. Mix. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is oven. Oven dish. What the meaning of oven dish? Simple khalpa. No, oven dish. This is the tool ah. the itself. <laughs> no, uh, this is um look here, this is a knife, this is a chopping board, this is a whisk, okay, this is a saucepan, okay. And this is a oven dish. Yeah, yeah, no, the oven dish is the dish, the dish which you can use it in cooking and you can put it in the oven. Do you know the name of the oven or the stove? Forn, huh? forn. Forn, yes. Forn. So this is an oven dish. Oven dish, اللي هو ايه oven dish? Oven dish, اللي هو الطبق اللي احنا بنحطه جوه الايه جوه الفرن. Forn. So the instruction, the instruction here is add a layer of cream on top. What's the meaning of add? Other. Oh, add a layer of cream on top. It means to put a layer of cream, to put some cream on top. Here, this is a plate. What does the word plate mean? Sahan. Sahan. Mm, yeah. This is a four. Here, pour some melted chocolate and spread. Pour some melted chocolate and spread. What the meaning? Of uh, yeah, sick. 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 So, so, yeah. And the spread. Huh. What the meaning of the spread? Spread is a verb. It means to, it means to make the chocolate. Yeah, it means to make the chocolate everywhere on the plate. Okay. The last picture here is the uh, this tool is potato masher this is potato masher use it to make um, to mash to mash the potato and this is a power here this is a power well is my mouse you had to the the yeah mash the potatoes what the meaning of mash the potatoes the potatoes the potatoes okay thank you a lot you're brilliant Okay, here, listening to, listening, here, listen to uh, Duan telling her friend, Duna, the recipe for a uh, Peruvian dish called Koza, and complete uh, Duna's notes below, here. So, now we're going to complete this form. We are going to complete these, um, uh, these questions. We are going to complete these ingredients. Okay, 
Now listen and try to uh, get the missing word. Okay, guys, are you ready? But before you listen to the TypeScript, you have to read these words. You have to read one kilogram of, one tin of, mayonnaise, one small. We do not. You have to write. You have to write just word here. And it depends on the word. Just one word. Hair or olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. What's the meaning of olive oil? Do you know? Zet zeton. Yeah, zet. Right. That's right, Michelle. Thank you. Here, we didn't know juice. Which type of juice we didn't know? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Do you know the meaning of pepper? El filfil, filfil. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Olives and hair uh, piled, we didn't know uh, the meaning. So you have to write uh, just one word here in each space. So listen carefully. Or C. What's cooking? Two. Listening. A. Listen to June telling her friend. Just a minute. Okay. Donut, the recipe for a Peruvian dish called Kausa, and complete Donna's notes below. Hello. Hi, June. How are things? Not too bad. And you? Well, I need some help. I'm having some friends over for dinner tomorrow and I have no idea what to cook. And you know me. I'm not the best chef in the world. What about Kausa? It's a Peruvian dish. Sounds a bit exotic. I hope it's not too difficult and still doesn't need ingredients I don't have. Don't worry. It's very simple. And it's not exactly the way they make it in Peru. It's my recipe. I made it the other day and it turned out lovely. Do you have a pen? Yeah, go on. Right, you need about a kilo of potatoes. Okay. You also need a tin of tuna, some mayonnaise, and a small onion. Tuna, mayonnaise, and an onion. Okay, so what do I do? First, you peel and broil the potatoes. Then, you mash them with some oil. Olive oil? Yeah, or vegetable oil. Also, add some lemon juice and some salt and pepper to the mash and leave it aside. What next? Chop up the onion, put it in a bowl, and mix it with the tuna and some mayonnaise. How much mayonnaise? About a cup. Don't put too much, it won't be nice. Yeah, and it's not very healthy. That's true. Finally, you take a dish and spread some mayonnaise at the bottom. Then add a layer of mashed potato. Next, add a layer of the tuna mayonnaise mix. Finally, add another layer of mashed potato on top. That's easy. I know, and it's delicious. Then put it in the fridge for a while to cool. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and don't forget to add some olives or boiled egg slices for decoration before you serve it. Lovely. What's it called again? Kausa. C-A-U-S-A. -A. And a very nice Peruvian salad recipe too. Hold on, let me get more paper. Okay guys, listen again to the type script and try to guess the missing word, okay? 4C. What's cooking? 2. Listening. A. Listen to June telling her friend Donna the recipe for a Peruvian dish called Kausa and complete Donna's notes below. Hello. Hi June. How are things? Not too bad. And you? Well, I need some help. I'm having some friends over for dinner tomorrow and I have no idea what to cook. And you know me, I'm not the best chef in the world. What about Kausa? It's a Peruvian dish. Sounds a bit exotic. I hope it's not too difficult and doesn't need ingredients I don't have. Don't worry, it's very simple and it's not exactly the way they make it in Peru. It's my recipe. I made it the other day and it turned out lovely. Do you have a pen? Yeah, go on. 
Right. You need about a kilo of potatoes. Okay. You also need a tin of tuna, some mayonnaise, and a small onion. Tuna, mayonnaise, and an onion. Okay, so what do I do? First, you peel and boil the potatoes. Then, you mash them with some oil. Olive oil? Yeah, or vegetable oil. Also, add some lemon juice and some salt and, pep and pepper to the mash and leave it aside. What next? Chop up the onion, put it in a bowl, and mix it with the tuna and some mayonnaise. How much mayonnaise? About a cup. Don't put too much, it won't be nice. Yeah, and it's not very healthy. That's true. Finally, you take a dish and spread some mayonnaise on the bottom. Then add a layer of mashed potato. Next, add a layer of the tuna mayonnaise mix. Finally, add another layer of mashed potato on top. That's easy. I know, and it's delicious. Then, put it in the fridge for a while to cool. That's it? Yeah. Oh, and don't forget to add some olives or boiled egg slices for decoration before you serve it. Lovely. What's it called again? Kalsa. C-A-U-S-A. And a very nice Peruvian salad recipe, too. Hold on, let me get more paper.